These are the six practices that make up the miracle morning. And uh, and if you if anybody listening is going, wait, what do you mean savers, savers? Like we haven't ref, we haven't explained what that is yet. When I was writing the book, one day I had these six practices: meditation, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and journaling. And I, I was trying to figure out how do I make these all cohesively fit together in a way that people will remember them or they, they flow in some way. And I couldn't figure it out. And I went to my wife and she goes, why don't you get a thesaurus and see if there are synonyms for some of the words and create an acronym that people could remember. And then they could just flow through the acronym one letter at a time. I go, you're brilliant. And meditation became silence. That's the first S in savers. And then you've got A for affirmations, V for visualization, E for exercise, R for reading, and then journaling became scribing, which is the final S in savers. So there's your savers. And those six practices you can do, you mentioned this, uh, they're scalable. You can do in the book, there's a chapter called the six minute miracle morning, which is literally how you do all six savers one minute each, and you can still get 80% of the benefit in one tenth of the time, meaning compared to an hour long miracle morning, which is what most people end up doing because you do find it so valuable. You actually do want to spend more time with it. But the first S in terms of silence, um, that's your meditation and or your prayer time. I want to give you guys a strategy on meditation that for me is really effective because I want to say this. One of the things you'll find if you read the miracle morning or if you come to door to door con, you'll find that the way I teach all of these practices, they're very practical and and results oriented. I don't just want to feel good while I do these things in the morning. I want to actually see the things in my life that I'm applying my miracle morning to, such as an improved relationship or increasing my income. I want to see tangible, measurable outcomes. So in terms of meditation, normally we're taught to just quiet our mind and just follow our breath. That's great. And some days I do that. But my favorite form of meditation is what I what I would call state optimization meditation meaning you're optimizing your mental or emotional state. So the way that works, very simply, you can do this, you could try it right now or right when we're done. Um, ask yourself, what emotion would best serve me today or in this moment or at this time in my life? You know, I need, I need to be more at peace. I need to lower my stress. I need, I, need more, I need to be happier. I need to be more grateful. I need to be more confident, right? You choose what mental or emotional state would best serve you and then you think of something that puts you in that state. For me, if I want to feel gratitude, I'll think of my kids, right? And it's easy. I smile and I just, I I picture them smiling and laughing. I feel grateful. I can get in that state very quickly. And then I set the timer on my phone for five minutes or 10 minutes, however long the meditation is. And I just marinate in that state. And what's happening on a scientific level is I'm literally creating new connections in my brain that enables me to harness that state whenever I want. It becomes part of who I am. Again, I'm becoming the person that I want to be. I'm becoming happier, more at peace, more grateful, more confident. And I'm kind of like working out at the gym. You're working out your mental and emotional state so that it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And it's amazing how fast the changes in your brain happen. But within a week of doing that, you will see that you will become and embody the emotional or mental state that you've harnessed, you've practiced every day during the meditation. That is so good. I, I, I never look at it like silence or meditation as a practice of like working out. You know what I mean? Like it's not like, like it's the same effect. It's just working on our mind and slowing yeah. it down and, and getting it more dialed, I guess you could say, and sharper and, you know, sometimes you're just like, okay, I'm going to do the headspace for 10 minutes and like check it off the list, but we're not yeah. intentional about the outcomes of it. So that was, that's good. I like that. So what are the yeah. other ones? Yeah. Let's dive into affirmations. I know we have a limited time, so I'm not going to through all of them, but this is my favorite one. If you walk away with nothing today, other than this, I think you'll get your money's worth. Um, the affirmations, I believe it's the most misunderstood form of personal development. We're taught to either lie to ourselves by saying, I am blank, whatever you want to be that you are not yet. So if you're overweight and you want to be thin, you say, I am, I am thin, I am fit. But if you're not, then you're lying to yourself, right? You're, you're speaking something that is not yet true and the truth will always prevail. Uh, and so essentially you're going to have that internal conflict. If you go, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, but you're struggling financially, your brain's going to go, 
dude, no, you're not. You know, you're like, shut up. I, I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. And it's like, you're not even a thousandaire. And you're like, shut up. I'm doing my affirmations, right? So you've got to affirm something that is true. And I'll get to how to do that in a second. The second problem with affirmations is we affirm this flowery passive language that promises a magical result independent of our effort. I'll give you an example. You've probably heard the affirmation along the lines of, I am a money magnet. Money flows to me effortlessly and in abundance, right? That's not how money works, right? Show me a direct sales rep that sat back on their couch, looked at a vision board and just pretended they were a money magnet and money flew through the door, right? Or, you know, yeah. you've got to put forth effort. So those are the two problems with affirmations. I'm gonna give you three simple steps to create affirmations that will align your subconscious mind, your conscious behavior in a way that will produce measurable, tangible results in your world. Number one, affirm what you're committed to. I am committed to blank, no matter what, there is no other option, right? That's the, that's the template, if you will. I am committed to blank, no matter what, there is no other option. Because again, in life, we don't get some magical promise just because we say it. We don't get what we want just because we want it. We get what we're committed to because we follow through with our commitment. So step number one, affirm what you're committed to, no matter what, there is no other option. Step two, affirm why it is crucial for you to make that commitment a reality. Affirm why it is crucial for you to make that commitment a reality. So for me, that looks like bullet points of like, what, 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 are, the, what are the benefits? What are the reasons? Why are you doing this? How is this gonna benefit you or the people that you love or the people that you lead, right? So I'm committed to blank no matter what, there's no other option because dot, 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 right? Because it's gonna give me financial freedom, because I can, I can let my wife stop working, because I, I'm leading a team and they're counting on me to lead by example, like whatever it is. What are the reasons? I'd put at least three, like it could be one, but at least three I recommend that will give you that fuel where when you read those, you're like, yeah, I'm committed. I am committed. That's what fuels number one. And number three, affirm specifically which actions you will take and when. Affirm specifically which actions you will take and when. So my last year at my company uh, with Cutco, my, 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 my goal was to double my best year ever. I had been in direct sales for five years at that point. I was one of the top reps in the company and I was trying to double my best, like increasing your best by like 10, 20, 30%, you know, 50, like, but I, I was trying to go all out my last year. That was terrifying, right? Like Sam, I was, you know, it was so scary. I'm like, how am I gonna double? Like that's out, that's just so, but I wanted to go for it. And I figured even if I failed, I'd at least sell more than I ever had before, right? So, but I affirmed, I'm committed to doubling my best year ever, no matter what, there's no other option. I'm committed to doing that so that I can become the person that I need to be to achieve every other goal in my life. And so I will make 20 calls a day, five to six days a week minimum, no matter what. All I did is live in alignment with that affirmation that I read every single day. And by living in alignment with that affirmation, I ended up achieving my goal by surpassed it by a little bit. Um, and so you can apply that to every area of your life, right? Whatever your ideal outcome is, how committed you are to it, the uh, why it's crucial for you and the specific actions that you're going to take and when you're going to take them. And there are four more of the savers and you'll have to come to uh, door to door con to, uh, <laughs> to get the other four because I know we're out of time.